It's like the original game before it was just some sort of cinematic art to the beginning of this game. <laughs> so, if you somehow were able to get your hands on the SNES Classic Edition, take this as like a little bit of a walkthrough for the game. However, there may be a manual for it, I'm not sure. I'll just stick with my reproduction cart. <laughs> Okay, so once you push start, you have one of two options. You either have the mission, or the core, or record, take your pick. Essentially, this is where your high scores are placed. Very similar to Star Fox 64. So let's go for the mission. I'm going to attempt to do this on expert mode. Last time I tried it didn't go out so well, but we'll see. I'm feeling confident. Andros is not stopping at anything this time. <laughs> He's sending out a lot of forces. Okay, so I'll just briefly summarize what General Pepper's saying here. Essentially, uh, there are several planets that Andros controls, as well as two, I'm going to call them Star Cruisers. Each planet is capable of firing a... not an ICBM... ICPM, I believe, because, uh... It's an interplanetary ballistic missile. And in addition to that, he can also send forces to Corneria to do damage. Now, Corneria can take some hits, but once it gets above, say, I want to say 45%, it starts to get a little more tense. I believe it can go to 100%, but I've never actually seen that happen. Yeah, and that's basically what he's saying right there. You're counting on me. Very good. Just want to make sure there's a good sound. Now, after that, you can choose two ships. Now, each one of them has their own different stats. Fox and Falco pretty much control the same, except Falco's ship is orange. Both carry a bomb. And they're about medium grade in terms of armor and uh, blaster power. Peppy and Slippy are pretty much the same. Slippy is orange. They have very heavy armor, so they're very slow. And it also takes a while for them to charge up their beam, but it's pretty powerful. Miyu and Fei, two new characters to the series as far as I know, both of them have the lightest armor and the most powerful blaster there is. However, because they have such light armor, be sure to use them sparingly. Now for Expert, I highly suggest you have Fox or Falco, and either Miu or Fei. Basically have those two work in tandem, because I tried doing it with Peppy and I believe Miu one time. It was too much armor, and because Peppy was so slow, he was not really able to get to the enemies in time. So, for this one I'm going to have Falco and Miu. Now if you want to, you can actually change your control settings by pushing the select button, I believe. I'm trying to remember which one it is. Oh. If you can figure that out. I don't know what it is, but there's just something about this screen. It just looks like something out of the DS for some reason. I just love this intro. I feel like Star Fox is just begging to be made into a movie. Okay. 
Now you move along the map with the B button by pointing your little cursor to wherever you want to go. If you want to, you can go to your mothership to heal up completely, and then the mothership can warp to any planet that's not under enemy control. Now it looks like there's enemies heading after the missile defense area, so I'm going to go there first. Because it can actually be taken over. Looks like I ran into the missile first, so let's take care of that. Let's see, my plan is... Okay, Falco, I was hoping... Mew is really good for taking these out. As well as Faye. But I've got Mew with me right now, so yeah. Now you may notice that this game also has the ability to charge your laser, just like Star Fox 64. You're gonna notice that there were a few things from this game that were borrowed later in Star Fox 64. I was one of them. So my best suggestion is either use Mew or Faye to take out the enemies over the planet, and then when you go on the planet, save a more heavier person like, say, uh, Falco or Fox. Because Mew and Faye are able to take out enemies a lot better. Now, I've played this game several times, but I'm still finding new enemies. I find that it's okay. It looks like it's escaping. You can use the Y button to boost. And if you ever get lost, there's a little radar up in the top right corner. And plus, there's little reminders every so often. Okay, there's two more. Maybe around here somewhere. Okay. And there's one more. Looks like they're behind me. Ah. I guess they got the ability to teleport or something. I think I'll just wait for a good old charge blast. There. Well, that definitely took a little while. Now you may be wondering why it's tallying your score. Once it gets to a certain point on expert mode, Andros will start invading more planets. Which spells bad news, for obvious reasons. Okay, I'm gonna go to the meteor place. <laughs> I guess it's just called meteor. In Star Fox 64, I think they call it Meteo. I forgot to switch back to, uh, Falco. Oh well. Now the interesting thing is with this game, is, uh, there's actually a walker mode. You enable that by pushing the select button. Very similar to the walker mode from, let's see, Star Fox Zero. Never played it, but I would love to. Okay, now here, it's kind of like a slot machine. Wow. <laughs> Believe me, that switch is not nearly as easy to get as I showed it. <laughs> okay, let's see, where is the other one? Oh yeah. Every so often it's good to check on the map while you're on the planet to see how close the enemy is to Canaria. I think I can at least open the switch before it's too late. No oh, wait. There's a little shield over there, I'm gonna pick that up. Now along the way, there are missile towers on some of the planets. If you destroy them, you might get some extra bonuses. Hmm. Let's see, it looks like this is a bonus right here. Now the S stands for shield. You enable that by pushing the X button, I believe. Now when you're in the walker mode, you can push the A button to jump, which may be helpful. Let's see, okay. Enemy's getting close, but I don't think I have to worry about them just yet. Shoot it once. Oh, you just keep shooting until you get it, really. Let's see. Can I do it? Nope. That's the problem with this planet on expert mode, is the switches are really just luck of the draw. Let me get this annoying bird. I'm gonna try this a few more times, and then I'm gonna switch. Come on. Now oh, that's down, at least. Okay, one last try. Oh, come on! How about now? Yeah! Okay, very good. However, that enemy is probably going to cause a mess in Quinaria, so I'm going to have to go into this base later. 
That's the main thing to keep in mind when it comes to enemies compared to, uh, missiles. Missiles will only hurt the planet once, while, uh, enemies can continually attack. Let me switch to Falco. Mew's not doing so well. Huh? Yeah. Hope I'm in time. Yeah, one of these things. It's always the big one that's hard to get to for obvious reasons. Ah, okay, just a small one left. Oh, just go away. Now you may notice that these battle combats are pretty much the same as all range mode in Nintendo 64, and as far as I know, you would be correct. Probably another little thing that was later inspired in Star Fox 64. Okay, so I'm gonna head back to the planet, and in the meantime... Ah! Okay, it looks like they're taking care of the missiles. Okay, hopefully I can take this base out before the entourage of enemies starts chasing me, but we'll see what happens. At least I got the way open, that's good. Okay, I'll just use the boost, fly right in, just get close to the door, and then the cutscene will take care of the rest. Now inside, you might find many different things. However, uh, for the most part, the stamp... The planets are pretty standard, like the idea that there's certain bosses you'll have to take care of or certain switch to take, set, take out. For example, here you gotta open the switch, well, I mean open the door with the switch, as well as take out the fire. Don't want to take too long about it. You move a lot faster when you're flying. Now usually to open the door you really just have to take care of the enemies. Now this one looks like a miniature boss of the, uh, one from Star Fox 1, uh, let's see, Macbeth, that, that was the name of the planet. Just gotta destroy the core, very good. Oh, and he even left me a shield, how grateful. Now inside these walker modes, or on top of the planet, as you may call it, you can't really lock down the enemies. However, the cursor will generally point in the direction of the enemy. Okay, there we go. Can I get another shield? Oh, I got a bomb. That yeah, cut me off mid-jump. There we go. <laughs> For some reason, the voiceover doesn't really talk when it comes to getting the shield, but... Eh, whatever. Maybe they'll fix that in the... Uh, SNES Mini. I'm doing a lot of stuttering this time, aren't I? Oh well. This game requires quite a lot of concentration, so... Maybe that's one of the reasons. Of course, I'm not trying to be like, Ooh, I'm better than you, but... I don't know, I, I think I'm doing a good job. What do you think? Okay, and that's one of the bases. Very good. <laughs> that was kind of weird how she says, Yee-haw! Okay, let's take care of the enemy squadron here. Okay, it looks like Mew's still in pretty rough shape. Hope I got the enemy. Yep. Sky Kickers, I think they call them. Or at least they do in this version. <laughs> I'm not sure how much of this is going to change once the SNES Mini comes out. Okay, and then there's just one more. There we go. Yep. Let's get that missile while we're at it. Very good. And then after that I'm going to try to take down one of these flag flagships. Now these, all you really need is two good charge shots, and that's it. <laughs> that actually made look as easy as it actually was. Okay, I'm gonna go to the mothership now. No. Uh -oh. Heal up. Let's see. Go to Meteor. I keep wanting to say Meteor. Okay, now I'm not really sure if you can see this too well, but there's a little dot right here. Those will go instantly right after, 
right after the uh, missile defense system. So you need to try to take care of those as fast as you can. In fact, they themselves are very fast, so as soon as you start shooting one, just hold the boost and try to get them all in one shot. Because these have quite a tendency to get on the range really easily. Wow. <laughs> Got him. Most of the time one always seems to escape and then I have to chase it down. Well, while well, I'm out here, do make Beth. Now this is the lava planet, I believe. Yeah. I love the idea of the switch on this one. It's essentially one on top of a floating island. And because the whole thing is made out of lava, you can't land. Yeah, don't be a crybaby if you get burned. <laughs> Alco still has his trademark attitude in this one. Okay, let's see if I can get after it. Now, it's on a moving island, so you have to kind of plan this just right. Oop. Ah. Crashed into it. Let's see. I think I got it. Yep. Very nice. Now let me take a pause here. Okay, that looks good. Now I saw a power up around here, I believe. Ah, shield, that'd be very useful. In fact, this right here is a charging station up ahead. Just land on it and you get all your shield back. Very good. Sometimes the jumping is a little sticky on this, but hey, for a game that never technically came out, I'd say they did a pretty good job with it. There's like a ramp around here somewhere, I believe. Okay, that seems to be getting kind of close, so I think I'm just going to... Oh, wait, is that it? Hey, you know what, I'll take care of it later. At least I got the doorway open. Okay, back to the mothership so we can try to take care of some of those enemies. Actually. Hmm. Go here first. Fortuna. Good. I always like to take care of the big one first since it always takes so many hits. Well, the smaller ones seem to just go down at one. There we go. Very nice. Okay, it looks like Andros is going to attempt to use the planetary cannons off the flagship, so I'm going to try to take care of one of those real quickly. Hopefully the uh, missile defense system can take care of some of the enemies for me. Okay, very good. Not the... Oh. Now if you want to, there's really no reason for you to stick around other than maybe a few power-ups, so you can just hold the boost button and fly right to the ship. Oh, hey, some shield. That's nice. Now you may notice I'm sending Mew for this, that's just because Mew is very good at getting the job done quickly. She has the most powerful blaster starting out. Along the way there are blaster upgrades, but they're very far and in between. Shoot doors, open them, very good. I'm on fire? You want a barrel roll if you ever get on fire because that'll put it right out. Let's see, I gotta take out the turrets. Yep. Now, is it just me or do what they fire at you? Kind of look like SpaghettiOs. <laughs> if anybody remembers what those are. Let's see. Looks like there's a few other turrets around here. Let's jump up here, maybe. Yep. Ah. 
this one along the wall. Aha, there you are. Come back. Now let me get that one on the wall while I'm thinking about it. Aha, there you are. Hiding from me. <laughs> the shield. And then it's right to the core. I'm going to fly into it. Ooh. Looks like I hit the ceiling there. Well, at least I didn't uh, lose too much armor. Now it's easier just to go for the walker mode with these. You can technically fly through them, but I find the walker mode being a lot easier. That's one flagship down. There's still one other I gotta take care of. But here they are. How do they fall? Oh boy. <laughs> They're pretty in range. I don't think I'll be in time though. Okay, thank goodness. No, I'm right there. So I just have to watch this. This is a really good cutscene, so I guess it's not necessarily a bad thing that I have to show you, but I think this causes 30% damage to the planet. After seeing something like that, you think the planet would just be dead, but nope. 3%? That's it? Okay, let's fly to the flagship before I can do any more damage. Time to lose, it's already charging. I was just about to say, I'm still as Miu again, but yeah, she's the only one that has the really good blaster like this at this point. Go ahead. Now let's see, we usually have like a little jerk that likes to jump. Oh, come on. But there's gonna be a little more fire than that. Oh well. Let's see. This is the only enemy on the map so far, so we'll see what happens. Okay, that one's gone. Oh wait, I think there's like a miniature tank that's patrolling the area. Sounds like it's coming this way. Let's see, where is it? The walls there. Ah. There's the tank. Now when it gets to low damage, it'll start moving really fast. Oh, never mind, I, I just killed it. <laughs> I'm starting to notice that there's little green icons as well. Those are your shield power-ups, it looks like. That's nice, I think I tell you that. There you go. Just a little further up. Okay, good, it's the same horn setup. Some of them actually have uh, different cores in the middle that have to be destroyed. Hopefully I'll be able to show off one of those later. Because offhand, if you're playing this on expert mode, Andros will send four uh, flagships out in general. And it's all kind of time-based as to when he does it. Take that! Let me guess, the bigger they are. Oh, good, that ought to slow them down. That is good. Let's see, it looks like Andros is gonna now take over a few more planets. Now the nice thing is, if you actually save one or two planets along the way, he will not take those over. However, once he takes over the planet, he'll launch a missile from every one of them. <laughs> So, yeah. 
go for the closest one first, and then hope that I can get there before the uh, people take over the base. Now, if you do this right, you only just need one charge shot for it. Like, uh, I guess. as fast as I was hoping, but whatever. Now it may look pretty bleak that he's sending all these missiles at you, but for the most part they're pretty weak. They could probably go down in like one or two hits pretty easily. Now the instinct is to try to be able to protect Corneria as much as possible, but eventually I gotta let one or two missiles go because there's no way you're gonna be able to completely save it. Good. After all, the main goal right now is to make sure that the missile defense system stays in line because that's the only thing helping you out other than your buddy. So right about here ought to be a good intersection. Looks like about two missiles are going to head for the planet. We'll see what happens. Use some good charge up shot, that ought to take care of it. Very good. Okay, it looks like one of the missiles actually did hit Corny Oh well. I mean, it's tragedy, but there wasn't much I could do about it. Okay, I think they're gonna go right for the defense system. They're right on top of it, so if I lose them now, the missile defense system's definitely gone. Was the last one. Whew, that was close. I think I'd be able to do it in time. I like how each one kind of has their own little attitude to them. Like, uh, the standard message will always be like, uh, hey, push Y to boost, but for Falco it's just like, don't fall asleep, push the Y to boost and catch him. Okay, now let's move back to Meteo. I think I'm ready to take out Macbeth now. Let's have Falco take care of this. I already opened up the way, so this shouldn't take too long. Oh yeah, yeah. First, let me see if I can find the power up first. Oh, there's some shield. Oh wait, what's this? Heart. This allows you to kind of regenerate some health. That'll come in handy later. Now you may notice that while each person starts off with a special weapon, they don't necessarily stay with that special weapon throughout the game, which is kind of nice. Okay, oh, go under there. I thought there was like a ramp or something. Where is it? Ah. There it is. Uh, just a general pepper coin. Oh well. If you're able to get that, that just rejuvenates everything. It will come in handy later. Not really something I needed right now. I was hoping that was the blaster upgrade, but I guess not. So the cutscene would take over, but I guess not fast enough. Ah, uh, okay. Here I gotta take on the night neck. I guess that's what they call it. The main thing you gotta do is you can't hit it while the shield is up. However, you will be able to hit it from behind if you do it just right. And he also has to lower his shield in order to attack. Just a few more hits ought to do it, I believe. Hey, shield. That should be helpful. Very nice. Let's get these shields first. Ah, bomb power up. I'm just gonna leave that be. I like the regenerated one better. 
The only problem is uh, Peppy and Slippy are the only ones that have it by default, but they got such high armor, there's really no point. Ah, this is the one with the cage. So in order to open the cage, you gotta destroy the little guns on each of the corners. Good charge shot should take care of most enemies. That's assuming that the charge shot actually goes straight for it. Sometimes you may notice that it gets a little cockeyed. Okay, then for the core. How to do it? Yep. Very good. One less place to worry about missiles coming from. Let's see, is Miu say your famous Yee-haw! Well done, that ought to stop the missile attacks. That it will. Hmm. Impressive, let me thank you. Hmm. Oh no. <laughs> well, I'm already here. Looks like I'm probably gonna run into the enemy first, so I'll take care of that with Miu. And then I'll take care of the flagship. Flagship, starship, call it whatever you will. <laughs> After all, I can call it whatever I will. Put a conglomerate of enemies in this one. There we go, we got a Very nice. Then to the ship. I'm gonna hope that the cannon might be able to take care of that uh, missile for me. So we'll see what happens. Don't put too much stock in the interplanetary defense system. It sometimes works, but sometimes it doesn't. And plus, much like uh, the planetary cannon on Andross's forces, it takes a little bit to charge. There's just something about killing the enemies in this game that's very satisfying. It's just something about that explosion, both sound effect and look. Can I just call it explosion? Oh well. Let's see, I think these fires go up and down? I don't know. Just this last one does. I'm kind of a cheap person, so I just walk through it. Okay. Looks like these are all going up and down. Oh. I always did get burned. Okay, let's see what we got here. Well, let's open the doors, it looks like. This is kind of an interesting setup. I don't think I've seen this one. Okay, well, that enemy's down. Satellite system shot down the enemy. Very good. So it did shot, shoot down that missile I was hoping, hoping for. I <laughs> can't speak correctly. thing is, in this game, unlike, well, pretty much every other Star Fox game in my, that I know of, you can hold the boost down for as long as you want. Ah, okay. This setup right here, I thought this was a setup that was also inside of the gunships, but I guess not. Oh, well. Yeah, essentially, shoot the tops to then some of the core on the inside. Now, it's very hard to get it all in one shot, but I just did it. Okay, I guess if you're quick enough with a powerful enough blaster, you can take care of it in one shot. <laughs> the bigger they are. I should have Falco take care of one of these. And have it be you taking care of one. Hmm. 
See if I can at least open the doorway to titanium. Oh. Hmm. Looks like I was stopped. Who is it? Andrew. Huh. Huh. This one's actually on the planet's surface. I like that. Yeah, there's kind of another piece of Star Fox 64 that was borrowed from this game. The Star Wolf team. Or at least one of them. Now also in Star Fox 2, just like 64, is uh, you can barrel roll to make it so the enemy can't hit you. However, they can, Star Wolf can do the same thing. Got him. You remember this? I don't think so, you just exploded. Unless this is a uh, Telltale's game where everybody might remember something. <laughs> Uh, hmm. I'm so close, but I think I better go to the mothership. Hmm. What's this? Leon. Huh. What are you doing all the way out here? So that's two of Star Wolf members. At least me who's doing a pretty good job of them. I'm a bad Star Fox, but I won't lose. Or if it was a 64 version, it'd be more like, not too bad, Star Fox, but you're going to lose. <laughs> After all, he's the great Leon. Ah. I better take Falco, have Falco take point, I'm starting to lose a lot of health. I'll leave the rest to you, Wolf. Ship. See if I can get there in time. <laughs> Think about it, right? Yep. I was wondering when the members of Star Wolf were going to show up, but I guess they wanted to wait until the last minute. Yes, I know a missile has just come. I can't run away from this battle line. I can't travel while we're out here. Gotta get some help, I'm starting to lose it. Wait a second. Yeah. There we go, use my special heart powers. Oh, you say it's just the beginning, but I have a feeling it's the end. I just keep sending charge shots after him until one of them registers. Aha! There we go. Beaten by these punks, I've gotten rusty. And I like what he says in the Star Fox 64 about it. My beautiful reward! Ha ah. ha! I can't really do that laugh thing too well. Hmm. I've got spirit? <laughs> Well, thank you. Oh. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> I'm gonna give you punks a good thrashing. <laughs> well, I'm not sure what that is, but... That looks scary. Back to the mothership. Yes. <laughs> Go to Corneria, see if I can stop some of this. I have a feeling that this... Yep. The missile defense system is down. Right over the planet's surface. So if I let any of these guys go, then they're going to do damage. Let's see, one more. Very good. Okay, take care of the missile here. Very good. We got a few missiles, my goodness. Let's 
Let's see, it looks like there's just one more. Okay, very good. So it looks like the situation wasn't as bleak as I thought. However, I should probably get the defense system back online before they use it against us. However, I think I'm going to run into one of Andross's bosses first. Oh, good. Looks like they're on the inside. Let's get a little closer. There's one out there. There's one on the inside. Very good. That'll help out a lot. Well, let's see, what am I gonna run into first? There's like three clusters on top of each other. <laughs> now did I get the missile or the boss? Okay, I got the boss. Running away. Hmm. Okay, this boss isn't as bad as I thought it would be. I don't think. I'm down the moment. That engages the shield upgrade, which is what Tmu's specialty is. Okay, shield is up. As you can tell by the little, uh... Huh. Don't you dare fly away from me like that! I'm not done with you, mister! <laughs> oh, now you're gonna head to... Destroy the cannon. Okay. <laughs> well. Something's gonna happen. Oh, oh come on! It, it refills its health. Okay, satellite shot down something. That's good. I'm just putting the shield up now. Okay, it looks like it's almost dead, so that's good. Where are you? Yeah! <laughs> like how I was pulsating to add emphasis to my victory. Okay, and then I guess we'll go after the other one, but with Falco this time, because Miu's taking quite a lot of damage. Oh, it's the dragon. Just aim for the mouth. It's too high for me to hit. Come up down a little lower, please. Okay, there we go. Maybe I just aimed for the head, really, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> Doesn't seem to hit me, to be honest. <laughs> they made this dragon look so scary in the intro, which it probably is for the standard ship, but I guess not for the Star Fox team. Okay, looks like I wasn't able to stop that other missile, but hey, we got the dragon. Let's see, what to now? Oh yeah, they said they were going to ready the planetary cannons, so let's give the mothership get some energy. And we're going to warp to Meteor. Okay, Falco, it's your turn. Oh. Of course you had the thrusts of enemies there at the last minute, didn't you? Go. Oh, there it is. I guess it just has a habit of disappearing. It's a bit confusing my track. Maybe I should just forget to charge and just go for what I can. Okay, one more. Where are you? This has got to be the sneaky one. Right behind me. 
back here. There we go. Good map. I have a feeling I'll probably be able to take out the battleship before the enemies can do much damage. See what happens. Yeah, looks like just the one that's surrounded by garbage. I do honestly wonder, can you actually take out the motors to these things? Because it seems... Okay, you can't. Because as soon as you get close enough to be able to do so, you can't do anything about it. Because it would be interesting if, say, there was a missile heading nearby, and they were about to ready the planetary cannon, if you could, say, destroy the engine so then they couldn't go anywhere. Gotta take care of this tool-like thingy. Just to just use charge shots on this thing. Right here. And then the wall opens. Now, there's probably going to be some something to hop. There we go. I think I got it. Did you leave me anything? No, it does a switch. Alright, and jump. Jump. There we go. For such a very, to be honest, by today's standards, primitive 3D platform, and I'd say this is very well done. One of those tank things again. Let's see if I can take it out before it does too much traveling. Oh, there's two of them. See how much it's moving now? Oh, there's a pepper coin. I'm gonna get that real quickly. Yeah, very good. Okay, so that's one of them. It's giving me the bomb, but I don't want the bomb. Even though I'm turning to it by accident. I'll just wait for it to get close to me, because I'm pretty sure it's going to round this corner, and boom! Got it. Ooh! Now that is what the special weapon upgrade looks like. I mean... Uh, yeah, twin blasters. Now my Mew's level in terms of uh, blasting power. That's nice. At least I think I am. Let's find out. See if I can take this on one shot. Well, not one shot, but I mean like, without having to bring it back up to the surface again. Doesn't look like it, but whatever. Come on, open back up. I just got one little thorn I need to pick up here. There we go. I'll slow them down. I agree with that, Pepper. Hopefully get the enemy in the meantime. Yep. Very good. Where did they go? They're all like underneath me, it looks like. Come back. Is that something? I got the big one at least.
kind of thought that was going to happen. Oh well. Looks like Andros is going to try to take the defense system again. Okay, very good. Onward to... I forget what they call this planet. Oh well. See how fast I can do it. Fortuna. Switch unknown. Now here's the interesting thing. Not only was this a pioneer in 3D platforming, but it was also a platform, a uh, very advanced in terms of 3D swimming. <laughs> Mostly just the idea that it ever had to begin with is pretty miraculous. And as soon as you push the select button, you just go right up to the surface. I think I summoned the octopus, so now I can get it now. Just aim for anything orange, mostly the head. Basically, the boss swallowed the switch, so that's how you uh, get it. Hmm. I think it went back underwater again. Very good. Okay, I dropped the switch for me. Looks like it's giving me more bombs, but I don't want it. I want to keep the heart. As you can tell, or at least in my opinion, the heart is very useful. I like the idea that it even bubbles. Okay, it looks like I just have to walk to it this time. How are we doing? That'll be fine, it looks like. <laughs> I think I actually have to swim into the base. It's interesting. In terms of enemies, there's only really one you have to take down, but I just want to take down these other ones to get a little more health. It bounces between these ponds here. Let's see. There you are. Doing, what are you doing outside the pond? I mean, I'm happy, but you don't usually do this. Oh, there it goes. It's going back. Let's take care of this. See if I can get some more shield. Nope. Got it? Yeah! Hmm, shields. Pick up the shield here. And then another here. And then I'm gonna fly to the middle. Hope I'm going the right way. I'm not. It's at the other end. <laughs> just gotta land. That's yeah, one of these things. Sometimes one of these bases will have a peppercorn, and I'm kind of hoping this might be one of them. I'm not seeing it though, so I guess I'm not. Ah, another missile has been fired. Well, I'll be at least able to take care of one of the command post. Good gift. to the surface. Yeehaw! Well, 
that's one less uh, missile base to worry about. Let's take care of the, this missile, since it's the closest. And then it looks like I'll have to save the uh, interplanetary firing system again. And there's two charge shots, that's all it takes. Okay, I think I'll just go there. Yep, this is what I figured. Coming from underneath this time. And then it looks like there's one on the outside. It's like a very weird orbit to this thing, so you really have to figure out how to get it just right. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Okay. Okay, Mew doesn't look too good, so let's see if I can get there before the missile. Huh. And that's why it's very good to have the missile defense system. It's really dramatic that it's on the planet like this. Okay, I got the four and one in one shot. Very good. Looks like we're starting to make some headway in this war. Okay, first things first, I'm going right to the mothership. Very good. No need to heal. Okay, let's go for Venom. I can have Mew take point here. Switch unknown. See about that. Oh yeah, you gotta fight like a giant centipede. Or praying mantis. Yeah. Probably a good thing ahead new take points considering this boss is a lot easier to take out. There it is. Now if memory serves me correctly, there's a few power-ups on this planet as well. Let's see if I can find them. Oops. I think there's some in this cave. Right. Oh, this is just rock. Oh well. Let's get a better vantage point, I guess. Get rid of that missile. Usually they like to hide a little something here. Okay, I'm not seeing anything. Unless there's something over here. Let's fly out a little this way, maybe. Nope. Oh, wait. There's something green there. Something. Oh, I see. It's one of these things. Oh! <laughs> Another weapon upgrade. Oh, well. So now Mew is like the toughest thing in the galaxy. <laughs> well, in terms of firepower, not so much in terms of uh, armor. So I gotta take care of these two pillars first. There's a switch under here. It's good. Get 
head that way then, it looks like. Hmm. Looks like there's another enemy here. Probably another one of those spires. Oh. Yeah! It's like uh, elementary school. Jump over the rope. See if I can do it again. Didn't have to. <laughs> I'm gonna jump anyway. Yeah. It's a big wall. Okay, I can't stop it. Sometimes they have like little power ups behind the cracks of these walls. Looks like it's another one of those. Oh, I thought it was another one of those tulip wall hugger things. I guess not. This looks like one though. Yep. Wow. <laughs> another one. <laughs> the most powerful blaster of the game right now. Just like the original Star Fox, there's three powers of blasters. There's single, double, and then ball, as I like to call it. I'm on the ball blaster. Okay, looks like another core. That was easy. I wonder if Falco has a snarky comment after that. <laughs> Let's see what Falco was going to say. Oh well. <laughs> He's probably going to fire missiles at everything now. Yep. That's what I figured. Well, might as well go for the closest one. Probably right about there is the point of intersection. Okay. Not only do I have the best blaster in the game, but I also have Miu. So this isn't going to take very long. Just a charge shot to each side ought to do it, and you got it. Hmm. I don't think I'll be able to get to that missile in time. I just hope that the missile defense system will be able to take care of it for me, while I take care of the missile defense system. Too far out of range. Oh, got to it just in time. Yeah. All right. Well, it's too late for that one, so I'm just gonna go to this planet. It's a missile defense system. Now this one is another boss, and beyond. Oh, it's a barrier. Okay. I don't know why, but this one's probably my favorite in terms of atmosphere and music. I like the idea that the background looks like a dystopian future. We have to destroy the barrier generator. Yeah, I got that. But first, let's get this missile out of the way. Very good. There's the barrier. Going in. Out of the lava here. See if you can give me some shields, buddy. Yeah. I better fly over. Now you don't have to destroy the enemy, but it just makes me feel much better. Okay. Here. I thought there was a switch back here. Oh 
looks like another one of those towers. Okay, beyond that fire barrier is the switch to get into the boss's door. However, I need to find the switch to turn off the fire barrier. And I believe it's probably going to be in this room. Mostly because it wasn't in the last room. Aha! I was right. Oh, there's another fire barrier in that room, just kind of double sure to tell you, hey, you did it! It's like they only needed one bullet. Very good. It's on to the... Oh, I guess that's not the base door. Gonna go a little further. Well, let's fly. I love how smooth that transformation is, even though, once again, this is the Super Nintendo. Not to imply that the Super Nintendo was inferior, but doing this kind of stuff is very advanced. This is probably the exact limits of the system, as far as I can tell. And again, I don't know that much about specs. Nice. Just took so long to get here that they just gave you the core right up. Didn't have to get like a barrier or anything, they just destroy it. That's nice. Piece of cake. <laughs> I kind of agree with you, Falco. I kind of agree with you. That's right, I am getting in your way again. Well, only one base left. Let's, t let's do it. I have a feeling something is going to come up between then and there, but... Oh. Okay. <laughs> That's surprising. Okay, one of these switches. What's that? Oh, it's a bomb. Okay, it's one of the switches right there. Very simple, and by today's standards, very primitive, but probably advanced for the time. Just simply gotta push it right into place. That's one of them. And let's see, where's the other one? Looks like it's out there. Hmm. Green. Oh wait, that's the bomb, I think. Ah, okay. I haven't necessarily figured this one out yet, but I think you just gotta tip it over. Oh, okay. Other times I've tried it, I'll just be bashing my ship up against the wall and it won't do a thing, but this time it actually worked pretty well. That's probably another thing they'll fix in the Super Nintendo Mini. But we'll see. Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. I'm going in. I have a feeling this one is... yep, there's a boss. Essentially, this thing is a giant steamroller, I would say. You want to try to get it from either behind or when it uh, throws its uh, stick at you. Let's boost after a little more. Wow, I almost killed it. Then again, I'm probably the strongest thing in this galaxy right now. And then I got the biggest laser upgrade there is. Might as well. <laughs> Just 
just gonna circle around. Probably go ground mode, walker mode, take a pick. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice indeed. Let's see what happens next. Oh god, I'm not gonna stop the missiles. Let's find out. Looks like Andros sent out one last little jest. Well, at least I refilled that. Just hold the boost and you'll be able to get to them eventually. Yeah. Got him. Okay, very nice. Now when this happens, the main thing to keep in mind is the last person you are on is the last person that will take care of both final bosses. <laughs> wolf. I think Wolf looks a lot more awesome looking in this game. Also because instead of a patch, he just has a giant scar over his eye. We contend with the strongest thing in the galaxy. <laughs> then again, he's a pretty good pilot, so that probably compensates. Plus he's sending a lot of beams after me. I think I'm going down. Oh, never mind. <laughs> He's going down. I'll pay you back for this. And he's the only one that doesn't blow up. Well, you don't have to worry. If you took a lot of damage there, because you gotta go right to the mothership before you go right to Andros's home world, it'll refill up your health instantly. Okay. I don't have a lot of confidence that I'll actually beat Andros with Miu. I'd rather do it as Falco, but whatever. Let's we'll see what happens. I like the idea that he, that uh, we even got the blaster just right. I wonder. What happens if? Okay, if I pause, I can't do anything. So. Just gotta go for it. I'd rather have Falco do this because not only have I beaten the game as Miu several times, but I do not think that I will be able to beat Andros with Miu on Expert. Then again, I got two shields, so that should help. Who knows, maybe there's a third one in here somewhere. Now, as far as I know, the final planet here is always the same, minus maybe a few extra enemies depending on the difficulty, but it's always the same layout. Or at least that's what it seems to have been. Then again, I don't remember that tank being there. Very good. Take care of this gun. That's good. I always like to keep the beam in charge just in case, but you probably already noticed that. Hmm. Pepper coin. Probably a good piece of that action. Don't necessarily need it, but you know. You know, now. I think if I just go straight, I'll be fine. 
probably run into another one of those wallflowers. Oh no. Alright. Just keep walking. I thought there was a little more to it than that, but I guess that's it. Just gotta watch out for the spikes. And then we're on to Andros. <laughs> Take care of the spikes along here. <laughs> we finally come this far. I felt like they should have translated it so it's just like, you have come this far, but you will die here. Unless, I might say something to that sentiment later. And just like the first game, his final form is really just a giant cube. However, the new picture is on this cube. So you may notice that half of his face is electronic, just like he is when he talks in the game. Okay, here we go. Just not taking too much damage, I should remember I got the shield. He said he's going easy on me, but it's kind of uncharacteristic for a villain of his caliber. Watch out for the fireballs. Okay, he's disappearing. Now where is he? Aha. Now I've never really found out where you're supposed to hit him here, so I just go wherever is possible. Because as you'll notice, I'm just like shooting him in many different places, but yet I'm not getting anything. Okay, I got him. Now, you'll just have to be warned that Andros loves to ram you with his big head. So just like Star Fox 64, you'll notice that you have to destroy his hands as well. Let's see, where is he? Oh, there you are. Wow, it's going a lot better than I expected. <laughs> now, let's see, is he, is he gonna... Yep, he's throwing his eyeballs at me. Don't roll your eyes at the Andros, that's rude. Whoa. <laughs> I only took like one bar of health there. I was not expecting that. I'll let the ending speak for itself. It's very cinematic, just like the intro. That's the main thing I hope they fix is that speech, because that's really hard to understand, compared to the first game.
I know I didn't see that one. Usually, each difficulty has certain enemies that Andross will throw at you at the end. This time we got the dragon and the hunter phantom, I believe. Usually it's supposed to be the space blade and another thing. Kinda of wonder if the people that helped debug this game actually hid their name in the credits there. Then again with a name like D45, I feel like that's the name of a amateur program of some sort. So after you beat the game, it, it wants you to push the start button. And there, you get your rankings. See what you got. <laughs> Only 30% damage. Got a 3 star rank though. I wonder what it takes to get 5 stars. That's probably like 0% on expert. And then you put in a name. I'm not really sure what to put in here. Oh, I know what to do. Yes! <laughs> Alright. That has been Star Fox 2 on Super Nintendo. We'll see how the uh, official Nintendo version compares. But, for those of you that somehow did get your hands on the actual Super Nintendo version, I hope that this has been a nice little walkthrough for you. So I think I'll just let this little cinematic play through to the end, and then I'm going to call it an episode. Until next time, keep having fun. See you next time.